So, we have an Atco Mayday reserve chute up to 120 kilograms. That's for a fat dude. Bag full of hats, windsock, clinch bag, and in there is an F3 by in fire. 36. So, uh, got some tackle. Big box in here is the wheels for the retractor bike. These are the uh, split rims, and in here are the wheels, uh, are the tyres, and the inner tube. So I've got to start putting those together. So here we go. I've got to put these wheels together. There's my retractor trike. Um, the wheels on it there. Uh, they are split rims. I'm going to put these together. Uh, good quality ones. These come from the United States. So here we go. Let's bolt these together. Have these stainless steel bolts. Um, we'll, we'll stick together. Pile of inner tubes look. There we go. It's surprising how much work is involved in that. But anyway, Six wheels, two trikes. A couple more trikes worth in there, but I'm going to do something different now. A bit, bit of a boring job. Retractor trike wheels. Right, I've skipped ahead a bit. Uh, I've got the throttle on. Um, nice to get the new throttle. New gear in here, new return spring. Um, fits in there nicely. Come round here, look. Here's the uh, XO, the XO throttle, that's the kill switch, that's going to be the push to torque. Clip wired in, um, so we're all wired in nicely there, that's the kill. Uh, this wire that I'll just dress up, um, just here for the time being, this is going to be for the push to torque on my radio, so I'll probably put a little uh, plate on here or something. Uh, with a jack plug that will go to a curly lead to my headphones. That's the idea behind that. Now, this horrible old harness, we did clean it up. Probably going to use this as a ground handling harness. Uh, but I've got to, got to remove it now. So we have this thing of beauty that's just come. Um, there we go, it's a new Apco Air harness. It's uh, kind of a one size fits all, but you adjust it comes to the large. I was going to try it to see if it was any good for foot launching. It probably isn't. I've had a lot of problems with harnesses for me in foot launching, which is something we're going to be getting to soon. But for the trike, uh, that'll be perfect. Uh, I'm going to put that on. Um, I've got one on here as well. This is the uh, uh, HE MVL. That's, um, that comes with it. Okay, so it's the same harness, same bit different. This is the uh, the new version. Uh, this is an older version from a couple of years ago. Uh, this paramount is a couple of years old. Um, but there we go. Well, I've partially fitted the harness. Um, I've left some bits at home. I've left the uh, the safety webbing uh, that goes to the carabiner. Um, I've left that at home. But throttles fitted. Kill start or kill stop, not kill start, is fitted. Uh, these wires are going soon. Don't worry about those. Uh, so I've got a little bit more uh, fitting and finishing to do. I've sat in the harness, uh, sit in it, uh, and it fits, so, so that's fine. It's a bit easier when it's in a trike. Uh, different when you're foot launching. The problem I have uh, with trying to find things that fit me for foot launching is I can't get out of the harness, so that I can't get in it. And I know when, uh, when Matt Fox was trying to help me, he gave me a dudek um foot brace thing that you put your feet on and you can you can push your bum into the harness and i can do that on the trike easily just by using uh, the you know the the foot rests uh, 
but getting into it is difficult. It, it's it's a real pain, and I've tried recently as well with the uh, the, the Parajet Maverick for me, and I struggled with the harness that was that was on it. I am quite a big chap, as you know. Uh, but worse than that, it's not so much getting into it because you can always wriggle in eventually with a with a bit of um, you know a bit of wiggling and, and jiggling. Uh, or I could use, as I said, that Dudek foot bar, uh, which does work well, it gets you into the harness, but it's, it, getting in's not the main problem, it's getting out. Um, and I found that I just can't get out of the seat and, and that's an awkward thing. So I'm exploring harnesses for foot launching at the moment. I'm getting some help and advice on that because the foot launching is back on the cards again. It's something that I'm, um, you know, is is, one of those things as you know that that i've been planning to do for many many years so anyway that's the harness um that's the throttle the exo uh they're popular um i've just found out since the last video when i showed it i've had a few people reach out and i've i've um sold a couple because you know i'm selling a few bits and pieces now and, and i'm importing these and um, I've sold a couple already. I, I really like it, but you know, it's a bit biased because I'm selling them, but um, I've not the greatest of throttle experience, but this one definitely fits my needs. And I think the thing I like about it the most, um, I'll show you when you, this gets his fat hand in it. So this is what I like the most. So it goes in your hand, it goes over the back of your hand. I've said this before, but just face this way because it's pulling, but you can, you, you let go. It's hard to show, I'll show you there um, because I'm facing the wrong way. But when you're facing the right way, left or right-handed, it sits there on your hand. You have this strap here, which you can tighten. Uh, I'd tighten that a little bit just, um, but it sits there in your hand. Um, hang on, I'll show you. Let me start the video. Okay, so what I've done is I've just tightened the strap so that it fits and it sits there in your hand. Um, that's for the A's. So you can hold your A's with the thumb and your finger there. Uh, two fingers here for the throttle, one there for the kill switch if you need it, uh, and you can let go. Hold the brakes of that hand, relax, don't worry about the throttle, and it just sits there in your hand, it doesn't move, and I really like that. Look, we can do that and, and let go. So um, I really like that. A's, and then you can just go to the normal position if you like. So <laughs> listen to that fat dude there giving a demonstration. There we go, so throttle sorted. And i um, just got to get the soft links for that, just to, to fit these in here. They go, uh, I call them soft links, it's safety webbing. There's a, a soft link that goes to here and then onto um, a carabiner. Um, it has a sort of color coding there that shows you where, where that link goes to. That's the safety link. That's the harness when we're in it. Um, I do fit it, it's snug, but um, um, as long as I fit, that's okay. And well, that's about it. The engine's running. Um, I've got a couple of little jobs to do. The fuel tank, it has two uh, uh, bolts that fasten it in place. I don't know what I've put those. So I think they're M7 bolts and they're a certain length. So I've got to source some of those. Um, they've, they've pr I probably chucked them away with all the old nuts and bolts that looked a bit doggy. And, I didn't like so looking forward tried that as well i can reach that put my phone in there and um, good for those of you who like a bit of gps navigation and well that's it for now right then so retract strike wheels those are the wheels they're a bit of a bit of a pig to put together but they're they're good quality i imported those from america um, because they're, they're fairly robust and good quality wheels. And uh, they take a bit of putting together, but I've got those ready for a shipment of retractor trikes that I'm importing into the country. I've got the first first shipment due um, in a, just under a week's time, I believe. So uh, it should be here on, on Friday. And uh, what is it today? Sunday. So there we are. Another retractor trike wheel. Box of bits. Another box of bits. This stuff's for the aeroplane, as you know. And there's the wing spars inside there. That's the wing struts. And in there's the ribs and everything ready to build up. Okay, going home. Going home. So let's talk about retractor trikes then, chubby puppies. 
Um, as you know, I've got a shipment of them coming across from Australia. Uh, I've shipped a load over. Um, I'm importing them now for Retractor Trike here in Europe, uh, mainly in the UK, but we're just looking at stretching the network into Europe. Um, Retractor Trike then, for those who don't know it, you might have seen it on some of my earlier videos, uh, me flying the old Retractor, I learned to fly in a Retractor. And then Bob made me a Retractor for my Nirvana, um, custom made that. He doesn't sell Retractor Trike for Nirvana Paramotors, but he made that for me. And I've always been a fan. Uh, I think the Retractor Trike's an amazing piece of kit because it's simple. Um, it fastens to your paramotor without needing tools um, in a matter of minutes, even less than that. Uh, it's lightweight, it retracts so that you can uh, use your speed bar, you can weight shift, all that kind of stuff. So I'm a real fan of the retractor trike and it's not just the trike itself. Uh, I mean the guys back there in Australia uh, that produce it, mate, they're salt of the earth, they really are. And, uh, love their flying and they're just passionate about about flying and, and that's how the retract strike came about so I'm importing them um, I've got a few coming in I uh, if you're interested in the retractor trike then reach out to either Rick Womansley from uh, Northern Skies Paramotors or James um, James Pierce from Launch It Paramotoring and if you kind of Southish in the country, it's James Pierce. I think he's down, is it Somerset down that way? And if you're north in the country, reach out to Rick Womersley, he's uh, kind of just a bit north of Doncaster around that area. So if you want a demo, um, reach out to them. I'll, I'll put the details down below. Uh, reach out and then they can do you a demo. You can have a look now. Retractor is uh, its not a generic trike, it doesn't fit every paramotor, it's not designed to be generic. You can't have a retractor trike and fit several different paramotors to it. Each retractor trike or each model of retractor trike is custom designed for certain models of paramotor. So there's a retractor trike for the Parajet Zenith, there's a retractor trike for the Parajet Maverick, uh, which is very popular. There's also one for power to fly, Air Conception, Skymax, and is it Yoda or Yoda? It's spelt Yoda, but people seem to pronounce it Yoda. Uh, but there is, and if you've got one of those paramotors and you're looking for a retractor, right, there's a model for it, and we can we can bring them in for you. So links down below, as per normal, and that's about it. So throttles as well god i sound like a plug now really commercializing this fat dude aren't we uh it's the throttles please not looking i've got chameleon throttles um those are rick womersley's i uh, put them in the car so i don't forget i forgot when i went to see him last sunday um and i've got the uh, exo throttle that i've that i've shown you um a link down below for those uh, if you want to buy one of those then uh, check out my website or, or again i know rick womersley has got um chameleon throttles he's got a couple if you're up that way uh i've worked with rick he'll he'll sell you one of uh, one of the chameleons um i've got a few more exos exos coming in um i've sold the last few i got and uh, i've got more coming in so that's about it isn't it i don't, don't know what else i've got to say um catch up with you at uh, Boar Chasers. I'm popping in on Saturday down to Boar Chasers. And whoa, that's it. So, as usual, if you like these videos, you've got to hit the subscribe button. You've just got to do it, Chubby Chasers. And give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I read them all. Um, I like to answer most of them. And till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, I forgot to tell you, and I'm eating a soft mim. I've got a load of APCO gear as well, if you want to buy it. And I've got a, an APCO FB3 buy, uh, 36, um, in what color is it? In fire. I think it's in fire. So, I'm tempted to open it, 
I really am tempted to open it. But if you fancy it before I open it, then reach out. Um, I'll do your price on it. You'll um, you'll get it cheaper than um, than it retails. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Magpie. Um, that's it. Mapco. Mapco bits. Let me know if you want to buy anything. See you later.